points of emphasis this week were not accepting the sweep and then taking what you give me. I'm getting my timing on that throw. Soon I'll be using that foot sweep to set up bigger throws. Potentially an Uchimada or a Seonage. One thing that I'm trying more often is trying to read when you're bent over. So when your shoulders are too far forward from your knees, then I'm going to try and put as much pressure downwards on the collar as possible. Without the grips, I'm going to be doing collar ties and snap downs. With the judo grips, I'll be doing uh, collar drags. So I chained together three things. I tried for the single leg and then I pulled you to try and sweep you and then I connected the lapel into a wrestling position. That was the whole goal the whole time was that under leg lapel position. So the warning bell should be going off in my head already at this point. You have double grips and frames. So you do a good job off balancing, but today I was trying not to accept the sweep by pummeling my legs in and getting my posture up and making sure I had pressure in between your legs and splitting your body in half so you couldn't triangle me or armbar me today. So this is when I start attacking back steps. I notice you're feeding in the deep del heva hook and I think I could turn around and attack leg locks and then we're out of frame. Just really slick lapel work into kind of a squid guard, lapel guard position. Just excellent work.
the knee shield pressure. You're contorting my body by pinning my hips with the knee and then turning my shoulders with the collar sleeve. Just excellent work turning my body so I can't generate force. Essentially, the position is done. With the grips that you have in place and the frames, I'm in such a bad spot already. You're completely in control here. In the gi, the lapel is king, so I ditch into a lapel guard position on my own. You do a good job stripping that hip frame, and then I insert the X guard, and then I try to get into a more traditional lapel guard position. At the time I thought I had swept you here, but I see now that you were actually going for the back. Just slick work. Just experimenting with the new lapel grip across the arm there. Don't know what I can do with it yet, but it feels like I get control. Just experimenting with how I can generate force into your body. That was sick. I thought I had you for sure with the collar pull, but you float on top of me so well there. Just excellent work to stay on top. That was my full body weight. That detail of pulling your tricep across your body is actually a Tynan Dalpra passing detail. He lifts your tricep off the ground and it makes it impossible for you to turn your hips in towards me and regard.
really good timing on the defense here. I was going for the arm bar, but I had to ditch into close guard because you blocked my leg with your head. Just really good work avoiding the arm bar. So I've been looking up some more close guard details. I'm pretty sure with my leg strength, I can finish a lot of people straight from close guard if I put the right positioning in. So what I was doing here was threatening a cross collar choke. And as you defended with your arm, I passed your arm over. And then I knew I could have the angle. And once I had the angle on you here, I knew I could easily pass my leg over for the arm bar. And then you do a good job defending. But then I know I can start attacking that far arm bar with a Choi bar. Uh, so I can attack that actually from half guard as well. And if I can get my leg over your shoulder on your left shoulder there, I'll be able to start attacking arm bars on that far side. So if you actually use your left arm, go underneath my arm and grab my lapel closest to your hand, you can post and get away from me really effectively here. And also if you use the lapel and feed it behind my leg like I like to do, you can wrestle up from here. And then I'm going to be looking for arm bars now, so be careful when I have that sleeve grip and then I can throw my leg over. Almost got you here. We actually end up in a similar position, reversed, but your knee on belly. So you can see what I like to do. I like to feed that lapel behind. And then if I can grab that far pant leg, 
I know I have a good wrestling grip. So from there, I'll go belly down, hike up to the knees, and use my strength to draw your hips in towards me. Kind of a Bernardo Faria double leg sweep. I honestly think this mistake is because I do a little too much nogi. That loop choke grip was too dangerous, too late before I realized that I couldn't get out. I actually didn't commit fully. I should have turned away from you a little bit, but I used that to break your posture completely and get up before you could. Again, not accepting the sweep. This time, I noticed that your belt was there, so I used that to split your body in half, and then that shut down pretty much all of your triangle and armbar attempts, because I was able to keep control of your hips with one hand. Beautiful little detail, you're tracking my elbow with your leg and then you break my posture completely. Just a great back take here. This is actually a Bouchesha reversal that I saw that he likes to do, kind of a tornado guard entry into the knee bar.
So this passing detail is kind of a Lucas Lecce way to shut down the lapel guard. And it's about controlling your sleeve that has the lapel. That way, anytime you put force into that lapel, I'm able to track it with my own hand. This was the severe tactical mistake by drawing you in. I shouldn't have let you grip switch. So that sleeve detail, that lapel guard passing detail, the shutdown lapel guard with the sleeve won't work as soon as you switch grips. Because as soon as you switch grips, I have to start really changing the tactics here. So here is another uh, Barambola attempt to try and take your back off of the lapel. This is something that Eduardo likes to try when I get the lapel. I think it's not a bad option, but it's tough. This is where we got into that shoulder cut sequence. When I get that heavy overhook, you know what's coming. A little overcompensation with the, because of the threat of the knee bar. Just a little spin move. I should have probably pushed forward, but I think fatigue was playing a part here. I just couldn't hold on to grips and I couldn't pop my hips in the right directions. Should have just backstep into side control, but I tried to barambolo the barambolo master, got choked out from the back. Great work, I'll see you next week.